Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. I'm Mike Briggs, and we come here every day since 2008 to let you know cool things that are going on in the Central Valley. That's why we call it Central Valley Talk, and uh, there are a lot of things going on. And we've invited today a friend from the Thule Basin Water Foundation, Patricia Pollan. That's right. Kind of have it close, huh? Welcome. You got it. Your first time here. My first time. And for our viewers, it may be their first time hearing about the Thule Basin Water Foundation. Mm -hmm. That's an area down in Tulare County, South County. Correct. Like what city? Strathmore? Strathmore, Springville, um, and we cover parts of Delano, Ridge mm -hmm. Grove, all central South County, including um, Alpal, Allensworth. Is that all Tulare County or some occur? It, it's all but um, a portion of Delano that okay. we cover. Um, now you guys have a very specific mission, what is that? Yes, uh, we do. Our primary objective is to identify domestic wells in our service area and uh, test them for nitrate contamination. And once we identify them, our goal is to provide free drinking water delivered to the doorstep of Tulare County now, residents. These are wells already drilled? Correct. So you're out identifying. For our viewers, uh, most of our viewers, you probably turn on your tap and water comes out. When I grew up, and my parents still, we have a well in our backyard that drills down and pulls the water up. And a lot of people in Tulare County have those, unless they live in the town like Visalia or Porterville or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, domestic wells. And so in you know, certain area, every house you see might have their own separate well. Correct, um, and you know it's it's a little unpredictable in terms of where we find them, and mm. that is why we do a lot of old um, school outreach, um, you know, in person outreach, so we can talk to individuals and find out if they have wells. Many times, well records are outdated, mm. and where we uh, should be able to identify wells that have been drilled x number of years ago, hundreds mm -hmm. sometimes, they may not be located there anymore, <clears throat> and may not have water right. any longer. Knock on the door. Hi, I'm with the, <laughs> with the Tule Basin Water Foundation, and uh, we'd like to test your water. Is that what you do? Yes, we ask for permission uh, from the homeowners. Uh, renters are eligible with the uh, homeowners' um, approval, yeah. but but yes, pretty much so. Um, mostly, we do outreach in-person events versus door-to-door. -door. We've done a little bit of that, but we primarily do outreach uh, in um, different venues, such as food distribution sites mm. or. Um, health um, health fairs. Uh, so you test their water in, uh, to see if there's nitrates specifically? Correct. And if there are, what's the next step? So if it tests above the standard, which is 10 milligrams per liter, mm -hmm. then at that point we refer them over to our a partner, Della Valley Labs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, uh, once Della Valley Labs tests for nitrate and identifies that um, measurement of, a, of 10 milligrams or higher, then we refer them to Culligan, and Culligan uh, begins delivery of their water to their doorstep. Is it free? And it's 100% okay. free. Okay. Yes. So there's no reason not to test. Exactly. Like you're not going to come and shut down their well That's and say, right. that well, you can't use it anymore. But if you're a parent, you have children, or just a consumer, you, you're going to want to know that. Most definitely, yes. Uh, it's a free service to take advantage of. Uh, we're safe case scenario is, or our best case scenario, depending how you look at it, is your water is fine. It's not contaminated and you can proceed to drink and or cook with your water. Otherwise, we'll provide uh, the bottled water delivery up to 60 gallons per month. That'd be a lot. That yeah. is a lot and it accommodates the majority of the households mm -hmm. that we serve. Now, um, do you find wells that are don't have nitrogen? Yes, we do. Um, we have to date tests uh, received over 300 applications. Mm -hmm. We've tested a hundred, over a hundred, and 50% of those have um, showed uh, high levels of nitrate. And 50% don't. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. So far, that is uh, that's where our number stands. And uh, we have uh, delivered about 60 um, water to 60 homes. Many times there are multiple, multiple homes connected to one well, is why those numbers are a little bit That's higher it. than the number of wells we've tested. Now, the nit nitrates are things that they occur naturally sometimes. A lot of byproducts of uh, agriculture use. It's not poison like pesticide, right? Well, a pesticide could also okay. contain nitrates. 
and it is harmful in excessive amounts is the purpose why we exist why our concern and why we want to test so um, yes it, it occurs naturally in the atmosphere also like you said by products of the ag industry mm -hmm. and um, by testing you ensure that it doesn't um, affect the most um, vulnerable mm -hmm. um, individuals in the community such as infants or uh, expectant mothers or individuals that suffer from some chronic diseases can also be impacted by the high levels of nitrate. And it could lead to something that is known as uh, blue baby syndrome, mm. uh, where bottle-fed babies could be consuming it and yeah. uh, likewise uh, expectant mothers. So um, it is important to identify. So for you or for what your organization does, it's all upside. You're going to test for free, mm -hmm. and if there's nitrates to a dangerous level, they're going to get free water. That's right. Uh, forever, I guess. Mm -hmm. And definitely, as long as we're around. So you are actively, I don't, you, maybe you, I don't know, but your organization is out actively looking for wells, but maybe it'd be easier if people called you and said, hey, come test my well. Most definitely. That, w that is ideal. Um, that's what, that's and is what that what these, event, these upcoming events are about? Our event, yes, is to uh, bring attention to what we're doing, to invite the community members to um, talk to us, ask questions, and uh, potentially sign up for our well testing if they haven't heard about our services, and uh, join a wonderful event. It's a culmination of a lot of months of um, work. We a lot of people involved. A lot of people involved. Yeah. involved yes. Tell us the date and time and stuff. It is happening this Friday, okay. March 31st, at the Porterville Memorial Building. And um, again, it's free. It is free of charge, 100%. And come learn about you guys. because Come learn about us. We'll also be announcing the uh, art contest winner. We um, had a, an art contest that was uh, promoted throughout the K through eighth grade schools mm -hmm. in uh, South Tulare County. We had 740 entries, okay. art entries, and we've selected the top 12. We'll be awarding prizes to those students. We'll also be uh, providing a, our partners, Family Health Care Network, will be providing free health screenings. And we have over 25 agencies that will be offering. Are these uh, some of those? Yes, they are. Uh -huh. Family Health Care Network, Imagine Arts Center, there's so many great organizations on your United Way, Sequoia Medical Center, Proteus Inc., Porterville Wellness Center. Uh, uh, Patricia asked me to put this on the screen, but through some technical thing, we couldn't get it up there, but uh, um, a lot of important organizations. Now, let me ask you this. If somebody calls and says, yeah, I'm worried I might have nitrates, but they're not in your area, do you refer them? Yes, we most definitely can defer, uh, refer them. Uh, actually, one of our partners, Kawea Water Foundation, will also be at our event, and they cover the uh, north side of the county. Oh, so. they're kind of like what you do. Exactly. Or exactly like what you do. Yes, And yes. they do that, too. So all over Tulare County, there's this um, resource available. Mm -hmm. You may need it, you may not, but it's free. Why not, right? That's right. If you have a well. Okay. And uh, City Water, somebody's already testing that, I would imagine. Correct. Uh, um, City Water is tested annually. Um, it's a... Reg regular uh, regulatory mm -hmm. type of procedure so um, if if it is contaminated they typically send a letter in the mail so right. uh, individuals receiving public water uh, would be notified whereas um, domestic wells have to be tested by the owner requested the owner, to yeah. be at there's no agency like a city that goes out and does that so you're on your own if you're a outside of a, a municipality. So there's a great resource. Thank you, uh, Patricia Pollan. Now there's an email address there, info at tulebasinwf.com, which stands for Tule, Tule Basin Water Foundation.com. And there's a number, we have it on the screen. I hope that was okay. Yes, thank call, you so much. Call, call the uh, uh, Water Foundation, 559-429-6970. Anything else our viewers should know? Um. Come by for a great Friday, time. Yeah. Not only do we have lots of great information, we'll have some fun entertainment. We have four Glorico dancers coming, face painting for the kids, and our Tuli Tom will be there for you to take photos. Nice. Um, and uh, check Tom. us out on our uh, social media, Facebook right. and Instagram as well. Now that's this Friday, March 31st, and it's where? At the uh, Porterville Memorial Building. Okay. Uh, 1900. And what time? Uh, West Olive, and it is uh, from 4 to 7 p.m. 4 to 7, okay, yeah, 4 to 7, how fun. 
That's mm -hmm. a nice community event. Uh, we will be back. Well, this is very important. Every day I learn something new on this uh, this show, Center Valley Talk. Uh, Tulare Basin Water Foundation will test your water for nitrates and give you water if you if if you if you test uh, too high. Thank you. Definitely. I Thank appreciate you, very you coming. Much. Very important information. We'll be back with more right after this. <laughs>